Hey everybody, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. I know it's been a while since I last made a video, recently moved to a new place, also had a pretty busy summer, but I am back to share an update on my life as a web administrator. I'll be reflecting on and discussing my role in more detail and what I've learned so far. I shared an update previously back when I first started in this role, first month as a web administrator, and you can feel free to check it out on the channel. This video will basically be the video version of my latest blog post, Life as a Web Administrator, and you can check it out at devjachelle.tech slash articles. First and foremost, when I first learned about this role, I was excited about the opportunity to work on e-commerce websites for the first time. And just a quick recap of my coding journey. I restarted my coding journey in 2019, restarted because I've been coding on and off for as long as I can remember. However, in early 2019, I enrolled in a coding boot camp to help provide me with direction in my career. Then in March 2020, I started my first job as a junior developer, and I previously shared more about this in my blog post, Associate Programmer 7 Month Reflection, um, when I was in that role. And in a couple of videos here on the channel, I talk more about how I got into coding and how I got into coding part one and part two. My journey so far has been focused on using my coding and development knowledge and skills professionally. With that said, my job titles have not mattered as much as simply gaining experience. I've enjoyed the process of getting to try different things in several different roles with my skills, and eventually I'll find what I'd really like to focus on. And feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn to learn more about my coding work experience. As a web administrator at my current company, the main skills I needed experience in for my role were HTML5, CSS3, Git, GitHub, content management systems, preferably Magento or, or WordPress, DNS, and SSL. Because of the various tasks and projects assigned to my team, it was helpful to be at least familiar with JavaScript, PHP, web APIs, and Nginx. For managing work, our team uses Jira. We provide development services via Jira tickets that come from mainly internal teams. Some of the tasks include setting up staging sites for new client web stores, moving staging sites to production when design development and configuration is complete, making server related changes on client hosting sites, DNS and SSL, configuring sites new or existing with custom settings such as title tags, logos and website layouts, implementing payment gateways for checkouts, implementing custom database rules for checkouts such as shipping settings based on certain con conditions, minor web page content changes, minor email marketing content and or design changes, coordinating with internal teams and third parties on tasks such as product API setup and more. Some other tasks include resolving critical website issues, for example, reports of a client's website being down due to DNS issues, for example, site functionality issues, bugs, features, resolving issues with third-party integrations, maintaining internal documentation, managing the team's JIRA board and triaging tickets, providing recommendations and or workarounds for certain website updates or changes, and more. I'm getting to grow a lot by solving different problems that can come up with e-commerce websites and there's always something new to learn and I enjoy being a part of the process of a new client's website going from staging to production as well as maintaining existing sites. We produce and manage a lot of sites and it's always cool to see all the work that goes on behind the scenes. A good variety of tasks and issues come across our team's desk so whether our team works on something or whether we have to move a task to a different team, I'm close enough to everything to learn little about everything. I'm really enjoying what I do right now and I continue to learn at work as well as away from work through self-study. And that pretty much wraps up my 10 month update as a web administrator. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.